Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today, while the wife is away, I get to play, which means I'm going to cook something just for myself. And today I'm cooking a spicy Spanish breakfast omelette. So let's begin. Okay then. So, just to let you know, I've got my onion chopped, red pepper chopped, potato chopped, everything in small pieces, tiny bits, my chorizo, and also um, cheese. So what I'll do first is add some good old olive oil onto this, about, I don't know, six eight tablespoons like this and it'll be a good idea if we turn the heat off isn't it so I'm going to turn it up to number seven and just wait for it to heat up and also I've got two eggs here already cracked which I will be adding some milk and beating them up. So we'll wait for that to heat up. Right, so this seems hot enough. If it isn't, I'm not too worried. So what I'll do first is add the potatoes in. I'll also add the chorizo in. The red peppers and the onion and we'll give this a mix about I'm not worried that the oil is not hot you know also you can use any type of pepper by the way it doesn't have to be red I'm just using the red look I've got a spinning frying pan like the rice one that I, that I use you can use any type of pepper, you know. I just use the red because I've got a couple of two big red ones here. So that's what I'm using. So let's wait for this to start frying. And I'm going to cover it up because that way the steam will help to make it soft. Well, it's been here for about 10 minutes. It's nicely, nicely boiling away. So what I'll do, I'm going to add some salt, to my own liking of course. I'm going to add a sprinkle of sweet paprika. I'm going to add some cayenne ground pepper. This will make it nice and hot. And also some black pepper. I need to buy some. Let's make it thicker. Okay, so let's move this about. And basically, just keep checking it every five minutes. And once the potatoes are soft, it means that everything else is ready. So let's cover it back up and wait five minutes. Okay, let's have a look at this. I think it should be done. Don't remember, the potatoes are really, really thin. But, just in case, I'll do a stab chick. It's going to be hard, it's so small. Is that a potato? No, that's an onion. Yeah, this is ready. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is take all that out and put it on here. We'll add the egg and milk to that. And also, I'm going to add the cheese at the same time. And I'll give it a good mix. Lovely jubbly. That's what Dill Boy said. Did you know that I met Raquel? Do you know who Raquel is? From Only Fools and Horses? Leave me a comment below if you do. Well, I actually met Raquel many years ago in London when I used to work in a, an Italian coffee shop. And I made her breakfast. And a coffee to take away. Okay, so this is nicely mixed. Lovely colour with the chorizo and the paprika. And not forgetting the cayenne pepper also. So, I'm going to put that in the frying pan. Right, so I've got the frying pan here. It's on number seven, and the oil is hot enough. So, I'm going to chuck this in. Oh yes, look at that baby! Oh. So, would you eat beans with this? Let me know in the comments. Oops, I've got a message from my darling wife. She's spying on me. Another one. Right, so let's start. Let's leave that to toast a bit. Alrighty then. So it's been there five minutes, roughly. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to use a plate, obviously, because it's like a Spanish omelette. Just hope I don't get burnt with the oil that's there. Way. Oh, look at that! Where's the pit? Where's that piece missing? Where's it gone? Hey, who cares? It's gonna be delicious, isn't it? I know, anyway. So let's put it on there again. Let's try and sort it out and make it pretty for the thumbnail. So we'll leave it there for another five minutes roughly. I'll see what happens. Might have to put some glue there. I'm not sure. And you know what? All this wine has made me hungrier. So I'm going to open my tin of beans. I heat them up in the microwave, of course. Okay. So here is the result. My delicious Spanish spicy brekkie omelette. So let's add some baked beans on top. A nice tin of baked beans. Lovely jubbly. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. <laughs> Um, nothing else much. Thank you for watching and I look forward to do my next one soon. Cheers.